as you see from the title, or thumbnail, there won't be a thumbnail properly, but I'm teaching you how to whip rewind. So first you need a scooter, which I do not have right now. Okay, so you're going to adjust the angle so you can actually see my deck. Okay. First, you're going to want to know how to double whip or a heel whip. One of them. Or well, actually, to be honest, I wasn't the best at heel whips or oppo whips. But I was able to whip around. There's my dog. So basically, you want to, or oh, hand positioning, you want to put it right at the edge, like there or in the middle of your grips. So you have more control of your deck. So you want to kick it near the back. But you you can even put your foot like this when you kick it. Like that. Then kick it around. Or you can put it like this. How I've learned how to do it recently. So like sideways. I used to think it was like that, like with the side, but it's not. You twist your foot like that. So that's what you want to do. Some people normal whip first, kick it, then catch it heels or switch, but that's really hard to do. And imagine you're on like a big ramp and you need to like do it perfectly. So if you do that, you'll get speed walk. So if you want to learn how to heel whip or oppo whip first, kick it and you land perfectly fine normally. So. So you want to whip it, kick it however you want, and then try get your feet together. As soon as you've kicked it round, as soon as it's going round, you want to get your feet together, put them together, and then when it's under you, you want to put your feet together on the deck and ride away smoothly. Uh, you might want to learn, if like every trick, keep doing the motion. Feel how which way you're comfortable with. Like this way, or your twist to the ankle way. <laughs> Feel which way you're comfortable with. And then try it to ramp, box, or fly out. Anything fly out would be easier. But if you don't have that air, but air's hard. So whip, rewind, boom. And the reason people do it like this, like sideways, it's because when we, you kick it, it just slides off and it goes around faster. But if you kick it like this, it's really sudden and it can give you really bad hill bruise, which I already have from landing hard. So that's why I've been learning how to do it like that way. You can kick it with your toes or the top, like the side of your foot, but like where the sole is. So like that. That's what you want to do. So you want to be able to double whip because then you get the feel of two whips or heel whip because then you get the feel of oppo whips because you need to oppo whip, kick around, normal whip, land. If you normal whip first then kick it, it's hard to land heels or switch because as I get said again speed wonky you can fall and remember obviously I'm not wearing one right now because I'm in my kitchen but wear a helmet safety I always wear pads mouth guard only if I'm wet, like learning a new trick or and I always wear a helmet pads most of the time mouth guard sometimes helmet all the time. So that's what you want to do for whip rewinds slash heel rewinds. Doesn't matter which way you do it, heel rewind is easier. So there is my tutorial. Uh, I don't know which side it is, one of the sides. Tell me what, what tutorial you want to learn how to do next. Like, comment and subscribe.